Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of the Mark Burt, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day, and it's uh, Wednesday, July 20th. We got kind of a short report today, as there's no economic news releases scheduled for today. Tomorrow, however, there will be quite a bit jumping in there with the weekly jobless claims and such, and existing home sales and a few other ones here. So, um, But tomorrow will be a lot more data coming out. Today just happens to be kind of a quiet one. So basically what we're doing is we're taking our... Um, data or the investors are taking their data from uh, earnings reports so uh, Microsoft came in with some good ones and as well as um, uh, Morgan Stanley did too so as a result the stock market's up the only one that's one of the few that are, is struggling a little bit today is energies uh, sectors and primarily because oil dropped below $45 per barrel right now so um, that's one thing that's kind of lagging right now but earnings reports are coming in pretty nice but uh, one of the things we also got to take into consideration is that uh, the ex expectations were set really low to begin with, and if they even just barely go above it, they're already kind of overreacting to some of these reports. Uh, as we've seen, the Dow as well as, um, uh, I believe it's S&P, already at highs, uh, experiencing the highs uh, before. So at some point, they're going to struggle to get much higher. Uh, bond Bond report. We did have a nice day, so we did uh, hit the uh, resistance here and kind of held there. Um, it did hold us there. Uh, today, right now, as you can see this red, which means going downward, we did test the 25-day moving average as this is kind of climbing upwards, and we got the 10-day moving average. The good thing about the 25-day average, it's been a good strong support here. As you can see here, we touched it here. Uh, we've touched it um, back here as well. It's helped us out. Uh, so with this rising and and providing good support, this could help push bonds up higher, which will give us better interest rates over the uh, little bit longer period here. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see better rates in the near future here as, uh, as, as we mentioned, the 25-day moving average coming upwards and pushing this upwards and see a trend reversal here. As you can see, this has been going down, but here it's been more sideways, but slightly, uh, depending on what today does here, uh, we can potentially have a little bit better um, route here. All right, folks, you guys have a great day, but today uh, rates did uh, worsen uh, in the short term uh, from where we left off yesterday. Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, mention that previously, but uh, yeah, rates did worsen a little bit, but we got some room today that maybe uh, at some point this could go up a little bit. Have a wonderful day. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.